Hello, and what the heck is up, my Lanteans? I bid you welcome. So y'all must be wondering, <laughs> where the heck have you been? So as you can probably tell, it's been a while since I've posted a video, and it's also been a while since I've recorded. And that is because this entire summer, um, so far, I've been super busy with like documents, um, other things that, um, like, I guess I'll announce later. <laughs> I've just been, like, super busy, but, like, obviously, I have been collecting dolls, toys, everything in between. I'm actually, like, kind of in a horror, like, classic horror phase at the moment, which is fitting for today's video, because for today's video, we will be unboxing... Dun, dun, dun! Yes! Yes, I have the Monster High X Universal Monsters Dracula doll. <laughs> Isn't this so cool? Like, I love these collector boxes. So yeah, we're gonna be unboxing her. And kind of like my Frankie Haunt Couture video, I kind of just wanted to like see like what the unboxing experience is gonna be like. Cause obviously with these collectors, I keep the boxes. So I kind of want to see like, will it be possible for me to like unbox this and like keep everything intact so I could put her back in later? We're gonna see. But otherwise, I kind of just wanted to show you guys that I did get Dracula and I'm so, so freaking excited. Hello, I am in the middle of editing right now and I totally forgot to mention that I would not be able to have this amazing doll without my bestest friend friend, sister, lover, Emily. Thank you so much, Emily. You're the best. It was because I had work, so I couldn't be there at 9 a.m. on Mattel Creation, so she had to do it for me. So thank you so much. Thank you so much, Gucci Gucci Goo. So yes, as I've said, I am kind of in like a horror kind of kick. So this was right on my alley. I was so excited for her. Let's get right into this, I guess. So here's the box. Isn't this like so nice? These collector boxes are always so nice. Like it's so like luxe feeling. Obviously in the front in the box here we have the dracula doll kind of like hiding behind her little cape kind of thing on the other side here you can see another photo of her i love this picture like i don't know what it is but this is a good picture of her she looks very very nice and then on the other side here we have dracula and the exact Dracula in the exact same font as the front. Oh, and I, what I love about the front is that you can like kind of see the back. Like they're not like actually painted on, they're kind of just shiny. So you really need to like have the, the light kind of glaring onto it so you can like really see the bats there. On the top, it says Mattel and right underneath it, it says from the makers of Monster High. And on the other side, it says 18 plus. My partner was even asking like, why is it 18 plus? Like it's a toy, but it's like, it's a collector's item. That's why it's different. On the top, it says from the creators of Monster High once again. And on the bottom, you have all of the little legal things. It does have the universal logo. So it is officially licensed, but I'm kind of surprised that there isn't like a universal monsters logo. Cause usually with universal monsters merchandise, it has the logo that like says universal studios monsters you know and then on the back here here we have dracula's little blurb here it says dracula on the top you have a full moon and a bunch of bats it says dracula doll i am dracula i bid you welcome okay i'm gonna try to point out all of these like little references because um because I'm kind of like a fan, right? <laughs> I mean, obviously if I miss anything, please let me know in the comments as well. Like I would love to know if like I miss something because then that means that there's even more. So it says, I am Dracula. I bid you welcome. I hope that you find the carriage ride comfortable. The driver can be a bit batty, which of course is a reference to how in the Dracula movie when uh, oh crap, I forgot what his name is. <laughs> when the first guy in the movie, the like sidekick guy, when he first gets into the carriage and goes up Transylvania, 
um, he doesn't realize that the person that's bringing him up to Transylvania is Dracula himself. And there's this one point where the guy looks out the window to be like, what the heck is going on over there? And there's no driver, it's just a bat. I trust that you've kept your coming here a secret. Excellent, excellent. Oh, my cape, this old thing, paired with these spooky stilettos. The whole look is absolutely to die for, don't you think? Please excuse the mess. I think you will find this part of my castle much more inviting for having a bite or two. Oh, listen to the children of the night. What music they make for our special guest. Allow me to pour you a glass of wine. Oh, I never drink wine. You could say I prefer a different type of vein. I mean, vine. <laughs> now drink. I would hate for my meal. Ahem. Forgive me, your meal to grow cold. So yeah, that was like all a reference to the first scene in Dracula when he goes up to the to the actual castle and Dracula is like greeting him and like talking to him. So I love that. I love that. Obviously, once we remove the flaps, you can see the doll in her entirety. So let's do that. Are you ready? Are you ready? One, two, three. Oh, isn't she freaking gorgeous? Is she not freaking gorgeous? I'm so happy that she came perfect. Like I saw a lot of people with like uh, the plastic kind of broken or the box kind of torn up. And sometimes people would find lipstick smeared on the actual plastic. So that's what I was worried about. <laughs> Thank God she came here and she is beautiful. What I really love about these collector dolls in their boxes is that even if you're an inbox collector, you don't want to take them out. You can see absolutely everything that they come with and so much more. This box is outstanding. So taking a look at like the actual inside of the box, this is actually Dracula's castle here. This is the exact same castle that Renfield, that's his name. In the first scene when Renfield comes up to the the castle. This is where Dracula like officially meets him. Dracula is walking down the stairs and they're in like this creepy like super worn down side of the castle and that's why on the back of the box it says excuse this mess I think you'll find this part of my castle much more inviting for having a bite because Dracula brings Renfield over to like the nice part of the castle where he like signs the documents and all that anyways this is the box isn't it gorgeous like I just love the quality of the actual box itself there's so many details there's little bats that are actual cutouts and they're hanging down off the ceiling I love how there's like little words on the spider webs. The spider is spinning his web for the unwary fly. And then on the actual box, if you can kind of see that, it says, I am Dracula, I bid you welcome, which is of course his iconic welcoming line. So yeah, you guys, that is basically the Dracula's box. As you can see, like there isn't anything like too flashy on here. I mean, like it's very nice. It's very, very nice. It's definitely for kind of like a fan of Dracula to appreciate. I mean, the details are amazing, and I think that the clever little references are really nice. So yeah, I think the box is great. <laughs> Let's take a look at the doll herself. I'm going to try to take her out super, super safely <laughs> so I don't damage the box or her. We're going to try to really do this really well. I've done it with the other two, and I'm sure I can do it again. I'll be right back. All right, so after years of hard work, I finally got her out of the box. Here she is. Oh, she's so gorgeous. So the unboxing experience. So it did take a really long time just because I wanted to be careful. I did have to cut a couple things um, like completely just because it was like so, so difficult to get the piece out without getting the actual doll get damaged. So yeah, there was like a little tack that was like latched onto the actual fabric, like the str the stretchy fabric. So even if I was to get it out of the, the cardboard, I would have to like widen a hole inside the actual thing. So I had to cut it. 
And of course, um, I did have to grip and grip the back of her head. So she does have the little tacks in there still. I don't know if I'm going to be taking those off just because they're like kind of like special. <laughs> so she only does come with one usual thing that like every other Monster High doll comes with. Of course, she comes with the exact same standard Monster High stand. I already clipped it onto her waist. Luckily, it fits. First of all, let's take a look at Dracula herself. Look at how freaking perfect her face is. Look at how lucky I got. <laughs> Not that it's something that should be something to be worried about because unfortunately this bitch is $80. <laughs> was she 80? I think she was 80 American dollars. So however much that is in Canadian, that's how much I paid. But yes, I would hope her face is perfect. Oh my God. But look, all of the paint applications are perfect and look at the overview of like her entire outfit just like the different fabrics that are used on this is amazing so let's go head to toe as you can see she does have the iconic widow's peak that universal dracula does have or like every other iteration of dracula has that amazing widow's peak she has the jet black hair um, I gotta say box hair is like kind of annoying, but also like kind of understandable. You know what I mean? It's quite dense and like it doesn't feel as dry as polypropylene. And you could see it's like kind of in this curled style, but in like all of the other like pictures of the doll, uh, she seems to have like like stick straight hair. So I don't know what the vision is, but I am gonna brush that out regardless. On the top of her head, she is donning the vampire crown. <laughs> just kidding. I'm pretty sure it's just a crown with like a like a bat kind of sculpted on. I gotta say, like this is really nice. <laughs> like this is a really nice piece. It is made out of a pretty sturdy plastic, and like the little points on the bat wings are actually like pretty sharp. You can tell that it is tacked down onto her head right now. I kind of want to like bring it up later on because that's how like she's advertised to be actually wearing it. Here you can see her gorgeous, gorgeous face. She does have the iconic red eyeballs and you can see that she has like this really deep red lipstick. I love this gray skin that they used for her. It, it, it kind of like represents how Dracula came from a black and white movie. Also being a dead person. I love how she's like ultimately like black and white except for the red pieces and the gold but like i just really love that you guys i can't even tell you like how much i appreciate this facial ex expression that was screened onto her she has the iconic bella lugosi eyebrow raise the exact same eyebrow raise lugosi does in the movie when he goes to like hypnotize people yeah so i love that Coming down to her outfit, you can see that her actual suit, like her little pants suit situation, is made out of velvet type of material. I wouldn't say it's velvet, it's not as soft, but it is quite nice. You can see how it shines kind of. So here's where things get a little weird. I love this little medallion piece. It, you can see that. There is a little D that is molded onto there, which is really nice. And the red ribbon actually does tie in the back. So that's a really nice added detail. You can see that she has a white little bow and like the collar is like pop too. So that is very accurate to Lugosi's Dracula. To remove the jacket, you actually need to unlatch like a tiny, tiny little like elastic around the button, which I think is just like... It's just really nice in general. It's very much um, true to life. I think it adds more value to the actual doll itself. You can see that the suit jacket is its own piece and you can see that the shirt and the pants are also a separate piece. But here's the thing. It's only the front part that's separate. In the back, if you can see that. <laughs> Here, I gotta give you guys like a good look at this. You can see that it's actually sewn together. Okay, like I love the look of it from the front, but just knowing this, like it kind of sucks, no? <laughs> like this girl was 80 American dollars. Generally, she is really pretty, like the actual design is pretty. I'm just really sad that they had to resort to doing that. Okay, listen, it doesn't actually make up for it, but I gotta say it's like really cool. There is a little tag on, on the inside of her jacket that says, from the makers of Monster High Collector in 2021. Another thing that I really, really appreciate is how her entire body 
is covered in plastic. Like I know a lot of people will find this difficult or like annoying, but the reason why they do that is because her entire outfit is like mainly black and in uh, production and in transit things can happen the dye from the actual suit can get onto the skin and then it will be stained forever so that is why they put the plastic all over her just to kind of like save her from that you know so yes i do appreciate that they do try to think about us in that way and besides even though the shirt is connected to the pants i gotta say like this particular doll who's going to be mix and matching her outfit. I mean, it would be nice to have that option, let's be honest. It would be really nice to be able to mix and match, but we know that she's gonna be staying in box for a lot of people, or um, they're just gonna have her on display. Like, they're not gonna be playing with her like that. But on the front, it is nice. It is kind of like all hemmed, as is the actual jacket and pants. Like, you can see that it is finished on all ways. And there are these tiny, tiny little sequins that are kind of representing buttons. So that is really nice that it's, like, actually there and not printed on. So also connected to the top part is obviously her amazing cape. Um, I was, I'm gonna be honest. Like, I was really nervous that the cape is gonna be, like, kind of, like, the Beetlejuice Outfit. Oh my god, I am shaking. I was kind of nervous that the cape was kind of gonna look like the Beetlejuice suit, like it was gonna be that kind of material, but thank god it's like this kind of satin material. It's not very high quality, unfortunately, but it is a lot softer and it doesn't feel like paper, so thank god for that. So yeah, you can see that it is in this really cool shape. We're at the top here. Ooh, it's like a little... It's like thicker on the top. I don't know how they did that. But you can see that it is shaped as a bat wing. And then down here, it is also kind of in the in the shape of a bat wing, like the bottom of it. Unfortunately, it is not a finished fabric, but like it does look really nice and I'm not worried about it fraying at all. So um, I'm okay with it. <laughs> also, what's really cool is that obviously 80% um, of the Dracula movie is just Lugosi throwing his like cape around so it's really nice that we do have the option to have this latch onto her thumb so she can kind of do whatever she wants with it you know can like pose her in fun ways and i also really appreciate how we have those spider webs that are printed onto the cape itself it is printed unfortunately but like what is the best way to do it i think that this looks really good next going down to the pants obviously it is in the exact same kind of velvet material as the as the coat um the coat has tails <laughs> there are coat tails and they are also kind of in the shape of bat wings i love this like motif for her i think that just it just suits her so well. Also, and she is sporting the clawed hands, which is actually like pretty accurate to Lugosi's portrayal of Dracula as well. He does a lot of like, like hand motion. So I think this is really fitting. So yes, the pants, <laughs> it is in that exact same velvet kind of fabric it like feels really nice and you can see the plastic that is going through the pants as well coming kind of coming out here coming down to her stiletto platforms so of course the whole thing with monster high of course is the shoes and these shoes do not disappoint oh my god these are amazing they are inspired by a bat as you can see on the toe cap you can see even on the actual shoe itself like the red part there is these like lines kind of going through it it kind of like resembles bat wings as well and the actual platform does resemble dracula's castle as well so that's so so cool the designers are so talented and so well thought out and all the way on the back of course the heel is in the shape of a coffin on the coffin is kind of like the exact same emblem that is on dracula's medallion it's kind of like in the star kind of shape and there's a tiny d that is molded onto there and probably like the best part is the fact that these heels have an active joint an active hinge on it so then you can just go ahead and oh my god how do we do this so you can open it up <gasps> 
Lugosi. <laughs> Tiny little Dracula on her heel. Like, you cannot tell me that that's amazing. I think the design on this doll is amazing. She was super, super well thought out. There are little things like how the shirt is connected to the pants and like the flimsiness of the cape that can uh, deter a lot of people or make people a little bit, they think more before getting her. So like, I understand that. And she is at an $80 price point, which is a lot of money for a lot of people, especially in this economy. I think for $80, looking at her less of a Monster High doll, more of a universal monster collector toy, I think that she's definitely, definitely worth it. I think that if you are a big fan of Dracula, she'd be good for you. Also, if you're a big fan of Monster High, I definitely think that you would really appreciate her. Let's say you're a big fan of Universal Monsters and Monster High, why didn't you get her? <laughs> and of course, she doesn't come alone. She does come with two little friends here. First of all is this amazing candelabra. I think it's a candelabra. Candlestick holder. <laughs> it is in the shape of a snake and it is gold and like fully printed, printed and weathered to look like actual gold. I love the candlestick too. You can see like the little wax melting and the flame is so well sculpted. And you can see that it does have a handle and she can actually hold it. Thank God. Look at that. Are you kidding me? So cute. Let's put her back onto her stand here so I can show you guys how to put this on. So this was also tucked in the back of the cardboard as well. It kind of looks like this uh, translucent kind of tail type of thing. And that is because it is supposed to carry her bat. <gasps> yes, so I like to imagine this being like Dracula's spirit kind of come into life, you know? So here is the bat. You can see that it is painted completely black, except for, I think, are the ears painted? No, the ears are not painted. Just the eyeballs. Oh my god, I love the wings on these. And it is made out of the more flexible plastic, so it's harder to break. So it's easier to get him put onto the stand itself. Oh, there you go. Stop! This is magnificent. This is amazing and beautiful. She is amazing and beautiful. Here's the thing. I know that a lot of people were very hesitant to get her because like she looks super, super simple, right? Like she's just a girl in a pantsuit. She comes with a bat, sure. And obviously with Mattel nowadays, you never really know what the quality is like. So a lot of people are already like really hesitant. The other thing is that most Monster High fans, I think, I don't know how how enthusiastic they are about like the original movies. The thing that gets me back into Monster High all the time is my love for classic monsters and like classic horror movies. So yeah, like getting her wasn't really a question for me. Like I kind of knew what I liked and I liked the fact that she was Dracula and Monster High. So um, that is why I got her and that is why I love her. I'm gonna give her a very strong eight out of 10. <laughs> I think a 10 out of 10 Dracula doll would have completely different pieces. So you can take everything apart, put it back together, and maybe a little bit more pizzazz would be nice, honestly. But I think what we actually got is really, really nice. I can see that the designers really cared about the movie, Bella Lugosi's Dracula. Oh my god, okay. So Bella Lugosi is the guy who plays Dracula, okay? So I can see that they really do care about the movie and they really care about um, portraying Dracula well for a monster high doll you know what i mean i think they succeeded i'm really happy with her obviously and i am going to put her back into the box but i am really happy with how she looks outside of the box as well she has a lot of like play elements with the bat um the fact that you can put this onto her hand she even comes with a candelabra and even just like playing with the hinge on her shoe like she's like a fun doll to play with all together but i think just even in general, she is just so beautiful. In box and out of box, she's so pretty. Oh, speaking about the box, I really want to show you guys what the inside of the box looks like. 
So this is after you take her out. This is what is behind her. I kind of just want to show you guys a little bit more. Yeah, so you can see the castle more in its entirety. You can see the little bats that are hanging down. Yeah, and these are, this is the staircase that uh, Renfield walks up to Dracula with you can see that alrighty friends so that is basically everything for this video i hope you guys liked it let me know what you guys think about dracula don't they look so good together too what do you think about the collectors that are coming out also there are leaks of cleo and laguna i would love to know what you guys think about them too and if you're gonna get them because i'm gonna try to get one of them why don't you take a guess in the comments please like comment and subscribe if you want also let me know what is your favorite classic horror movie if you have one i would love to know thank y'all for watching and i'll see y'all on the flip side Bye bye